Hello everyone, hi. Um, my name is Lisandro Suriel. I am a photographer and artistic researcher from St. Martin. I'm, right now I'm in the Netherlands because I was here about two months ago to participate in an art show, Art Rotterdam. And I was going to run some errands here right away because I was going to get some stuff and take it back with me to St. Martin where I would continue my project. Uh, Ghost Island, and uh, research the imagination of the diaspora there, and um, yeah, COVID-19 uh, happened, and kind of still here, but stuck, immobile, the borders closed to St. Martin quite a while ago, and I never really started counting the days because I knew it was going to be kind of a, a long situation, I, I understand that. So I knew it was going to have kind of direct consequences on my artistic practice because, um, yeah, I don't have a studio. Um, I'm actually staying with a friend right now. Um, and yeah, so my, my artistic practice has kind of shifted focus rather than stop. Because in my artistic practice, I usually work with, I always work with people. So that is going to change for the time being and uh, it's going to be interesting um, how that's going to be um, figure it out and I also work on location so traveling is very important for me uh, so yeah because I always get inspired by the imagination in a place by, by the imagination that kind of generates itself with the elements of another person props material things and nature. I love working in nature. So for now, uh, I'm kind of stuck indoors. Every so often I go for a walk in the dunes. I'm kind of lucky to be quarantining um, next to the dunes on the coast. Um, so yeah, so besides doing administrative things, what this quarantine has been for me in my um, artistic work process is it kind of shifted the focus inwards and I'm, I've hashed open some, some old journals, like I have it here, like I've been documenting my dreams and my imagination, my thought process since I was a teenager and I've been kind of going through that um, again, catching up on my own journaling right now. Um, I have a lot of writing to catch up on, so I've been doing that, and that does feed my artistic process. So I'm kind of studying the imagination from an, an inner perspective, rather than going out there to find the imagination. Um, that process has also led me to kind of read a lot. A lot of my books are digital, so I can't really show you <laughs> um, any physical book besides like, this one about ancestral memory. I've been reading up on um, ancestral cosmology, um, what else have I been reading? Um, various histories, tellings of histories of revolving regarding the the Black Atlantic. Uh, I just spent a week last week reading the reading up on the history of cotton, which is very interesting because it's very complex. Um, because there are only like four species of cotton that are spinnable. Um, two of them from the old world, Africa, and two of them from the new world, but ostensibly. Um, the New World species that are spinnable are hybrid between wild New World species and um, domesticated African Old World species. So it kind of hints that the cotton that the indigenous peoples of the Caribbean, the Taino, had when Columbus came is kind of um, already proof that there was already an African presence in the New World before, um, or in the pre-Columbian context. So, that cotton is proof of that interaction um, between our ancestors on both sides of the Atlantic. So, I'm, I'm reading stuff like that. It's really interesting and it feeds um, the narrative of my project. Um, I've been, I'm starting to read about the Jinn again, an extended book about really in-depth research about the gin, which I'm very excited about. So I'm actually um, quite excited um, this, for this quarantine and what kind of knowledge it could produce. 
Yeah, because that's my strategy going forward is to just kind of shift my focus. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, what I've been doing and keeping in touch with family, um, my friends. I've been, oh, I've also been reading up on divination, um, ancestral divination. So that is quite uh, interesting as well. So it's all uh, decoding signs, um, the study of signs. Um, so, yeah, I've been sketching. Sketching is also very important uh, for my process. So even though I do not have a studio, I've fashioned one with the things around me, with my objects and my writing and my mind, of course, because that's, uh, that's my very mobile studio. Uh, so, yeah. So I hope everyone's well in quarantine. And thank you for allowing me to share my story on this platform. It is an honor. And I hope to see you all in the outside world soon.